To log into your website, visit the link that we sent to you, add your username or your email address, then add your password, and then click log in. When you log in, you will be presented with the dashboard. This will vary based on the type of website that you have with us. It generally shows your Google statistics and your SEO statistics. It allows you to create a quick post here, and this is handy for batching things. So this will be covered in posts later on. And you can see your website at a glance, how many pages you have, and if there's any comments. And then you can see your analytics generally and how the website is performing. So you know that you're in the back end because you have this uh, these tabs off here to the left and you can perform a variety of tasks in the back end of your website and that will affect how it looks on the front end. The front end of your website without logging in looks like this and it has no black bar up the top. This black bar appears when you log in and when you go out the front end of your website when you're logged in, so we just click this little button here and it brings us out to the front end. And when you're in the front end here, you can see this black bar appears. Now this black bar allows you to edit content on the front end visually using a visual builder because that's the way that we've built your website. This makes it much easier for you to change content because you're not having to go back into the back and modify content and guess what it's going to look like out the front. It's what you call, uh, what you see is what you get editor. So it's a WYSIWYG editor. And this means that you can edit content here. And generally when you save your changes and exit the visual builder, these, uh, these, this content will look generally the pretty much the exact same. So I will walk you through all of these, uh, all of the steps on how to edit your content in your website and how to add new content in the following videos.